Get ready for some great music and great stories. Band in Seattle starts right now. Welcome to Band in Seattle. I'm Xander Denke, and with me is Sean DeTore, associate producer and host of the mixtape on MyNorthwest.com and Cairo Radio, to talk about tonight's bands, Sweet Kiss Mama and Clearly Beloved. Sweet Kiss Mama, led by Jeff Hamill on vocals and guitar, is described as southern, soul-tinged rock and roll. Filling out the band is Jack Parker, lead guitar, Eric Roberts on keys, Jimmy Hughes on drums, Jeremy Hamill on bass, and Kim Hamill uh, as a vocalist. With the spirit of gospel music and the honesty of original, thoughtful lyrics, Sweet Kiss Mama will knock your socks off. So stick around. We'll be right back with Sweet Kiss Mama. I can do Mary of the Lamb, I think, for you. <laughs> so we're Sweet Kiss Mama rock and roll band. Woo! <laughs> Southern soul tinged rock and roll. That, that's us. And Speak Us Mama is, is a fun band to be in because the, the music is just, oh, it's like a, a teaspoon of rock, it's like a tablespoon of country, it's like a, a cup full of Americana, it's like, it's beards, it's, although I don't have one. It's, uh, it's, it's tough, it's, it's sweet, it's nice. Kim sings with us as well, my wife, when we do, uh, we do stuff locally, we travel. Um, obviously, someone's got to stay with the kids, so she, she ends up sticking around town, but um, an amazing vocalist, uh, incredible harmony singer, so we like having her as much as we can. Jeff and I met at church camp when we were in fourth grade. Um, he says that I was not nice to him and I would try and beat him up. I don't think, I don't remember it that way. Jeff started the band with his brother and a couple other buddies in about 2008. And a couple years ago I got the opportunity to kind of jump on board and start singing and they can't get rid of me now. <laughs> Yeah, initially the band was the group of guys that were playing together, uh, you know, at, at the church services, uh, four of us guys, uh, and then my little brother Jeremy came back from uh, the Air Force, uh, and it just so happened we needed a bass player, and you know, he was certainly capable of doing it, so we brought him in on bass. Um, we also have, um, now playing drums with us, is Jimmy Hughes, been with us for a couple years now. Um, but Jimmy was in, when we were in school, he was in all the cool bands we'd go see. Eric Robert plays keys with us as much as we can grab him, and he's uh, incredibly versatile, but he's a guy that's constantly, somebody's grabbing him somewhere. Jack uh, just recently joined us, um, and Jack has a great um, heritage of playing with bands that we loved as kids. MXPX is a punk band out of Bremerton, and he also played with Tumble Band, which is an offshoot of that. One of my bass... I guess idols, for lack of a better word, would be Mike from MXPX, which I hope he watches this and laughs. Being in a band with my brother, it's a double-sided coin. You know, trying to separate like the personal and the 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 family and the business. 
it's all in one big ball of wax, but I mean, that's all I've ever really known. <laughs> Really the heart of it for me is I love that interaction with people, whether it be the others in the band, people that are, that are there to, to experience it with us, the other bands that we play with. Um, I love people. I think music is a great way to communicate. Same old stories. Man, I may as well be just standing there in my underwear. It is about as emotionally raw a song as we have. It's a very personal song. I fumble for words, but where to begin? Truths that are true for hearts the woman, so I'm the telling. When we were recording Same Old Stories in the studio, um, we'd gone through and the music had been recorded, we were kind of listening to the playback, and I just, it was just tugging at my heart. I'll never forget recording that, when Jeff actually went and sang those vocals, and everybody in the control room was near tears. You know, we just, we stopped recording that night. That was it, you know, it was just time to go home. I will say I'm the only person that did not cry in the studio while that was being recorded. A gangster and half a pimp, three quarter lover and our bad news. Not a worry for that. Almost twice a man from the brim of his hat to the point on his boots. The whole world in a palm of his hand, but a big go. I was playing in a couple other bands around Tacoma, and we played a, a few shows with Sweet Kiss Mama. When Jeff asked me if I wanted to play drums, I just couldn't turn it down. They were too good of a band. They were one of my favorite bands in this area. For me, there's just no replacement when you're playing music with people and you just lock in. There's just this magic. Get up and run, Uncle You better make some room for love. Jeff is a very driven member of the band. His ultimate goal is to see as far as this can go. There's expressions of sorrow in some of our songs. There's, there's great joy in some of our songs. There's, there's anger in some of our songs. But even in that, I hope people still get that like, kind of lighthearted spirit in what we do, because we, man, we just have a good time. <laughs> Yeah.
Uncle Jesus. Thank you very much. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you, guys. Clearly Beloved is a gathering of five musicians, friends, and storytellers. Katie and Jennifer, classically trained violinists, backed up by Brendan, Bobby, and Andy. They write and orchestrate songs about fishermen, homesteaders, Vikings, and the feeling you get the moment before a shark attack, uh, which I think is good. Jennifer and Katie entertain with more than their bows, from bells, costumes, glockenspiels to paper mache. They just, they tell great stories. So we'll be right back with Clearly Beloved. Clearly Beloved's sound comes from everyone's sensibilities in the band, and it's all coming together. We try to do that knowingly and play with that a little bit. I want to be a fisherman, caddy by the sea, over hills made of water and housing fish and wells. To be weathered by the weather, I think that's the life for me. Really in the salmon, nets of salt and choke, no on the seafloor. I want to be a fisherman. Captain is about living a different kind of a life. The feeling of water and the feeling of being swept up by the elements. The sun by side the boat did float up anchor near this reef. As the rising tides of wave will sight makes up sea. Ocean spray does sink the deck and silver dolphin fin. Dewey that the plenty, the plunder and the duma, the lobster pond. Fisherman. Katie and I want Clearly Beloved to come across as a friendship because really we just like to hang out together. Their friendship is so critical to the success of the band. We play music but we just play as children do and I've never met anybody like that before. Really different. We went to school together and we were roommates. Our violin professor had us play the Bach Violin Double Concerto. We really bonded because we were telling a story. The story we were telling was about two sisters separated in some way, maybe by a war, and the only way to communicate was through the violin. I think that solidified our relationship. The roots of Clearly Beloved are deep. We haven't been around together as a formal band for that long, maybe four or five years, but the roots go back a long time. Jennifer, Katie, and I all went to the same college to study music. And then Andy, our drummer, Andy and I have been playing here at the church, and before that, Bobby and Andy were playing in bands in junior high. So there's all these deep, deep roots, but we never became a conglomerate until just four or five years ago. We always regret that we didn't start sooner because it just seems stupid that we didn't. Thank you. 
Jennifer is just the inspiration. She's the catalyst for so much of, of what we do. And obviously, I really like her because we're married. Being married to Brendan and also being in the band with Brendan, is, I think I would prefer that actually than him being in a band, me being in a different band. I don't think we could do it otherwise. Thank you. is another great creation about taking honey out of a weed, which is in itself not possible. The concept of the tune is very unique and very dynamic on stage. It's very complicated and very different, but it, those are both things that, that draw me to a song. Breaking the fast each morning together Feasting no matter Clearly, Beloved uses dissonance in our music to create tension so that we can move forward in the storytelling. You want there to be this sense of resolution, of course, and the sense of satisfaction. In classical music, there's a lot of that tension and release, ups and downs, just like life. Get up, Loki. Thor. No man in Asgard has seen, no god in Midgard has seen my hammer. You suggest such a thing If that hammer is not found soon The walls of this hall will come crashing The giants will storm in and thrash With a vengeance Cold as Valhalla, Valhalla, la la Valhalla is full of Norse mythology characters and it's a, a play kind of combining three or four different myths. You get to pretend that you're kind of in a tavern brawl in Valhalla and you're duking it out with Vikings and other bearded folk. I will not be late. She has a falcon skin. I fly in the guise of a bird of prey. Now Freya was beautiful. Loki the trickster knew. He offered her costly jewels and she shifted it into a dashing young man boy. Performing live, there is a separation between the performer and the audience. I think the challenge is to breach that. I try to do it through props sometimes, or the, just a the storytelling element. How can we get people's attention? You come for those hammer. The hammer I've hidden Eight miles deep In the arms Jen and Katie develop the props. They literally make them, they think them up, they perform them on stage. My job is to watch that and support it so I'm with them and hitting targets every time. You will go with them You'll follow the lucky bride You'll wear a dress
in Valhalla, there is a giant, and the point was to destroy it at the end. That's it for tonight's Band in Seattle. If you want to hear more, check us out on bandinseattle.com where you can hear full concerts and find links for more information about our bands and where they're playing next. Sean? Thanks, Sander. And to stay up with the latest on the band scene, because why wouldn't you want to do that, check out my show, The Mixtape, on mynorthwest.com and Cairo Radio. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching. Join us next week for more great music and great stories on Band in Seattle.